passion. For three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, A4. The Axiom 4 mission, where the astronauts will spend 14 days on the International Space Station and will undertake as many as 60 scientific studies and activities, is very significant indeed. This is a truly collaborative exercise with the involvement of 31 countries. ISRO has itself designed around eight experiments for this mission. These include crop seeds on the International Space Station, cyanobacteria, myogenesis, stemonstrations, sprouts, space microalgae, Voyager displays and Voyager tardigrades. The Axiom mission stands out for multiple features. Firstly, it's an international collaboration and secondly, it's also a public-private partnership. Axiom Space is a private entity but is collaborating with both NASA as well as ISRO among others. This does hold great potential for the future of space exploration missions. Neil deGrasse Tyson, renowned astrophysicist, had this to say about this mission and its India connection. The, obviously, the early days of space exploration were conducted entirely by governments. And, but let us remember that the governments, uh, certainly in the United States, NASA partnered with private industry to make all of these vessels. So, for example, just as an example, the lunar lander, uh, that was made right here near where I live. I live in New York City. That was made on Long Island, which is attached to New York City in Grumman Aerospace. People today still walk and stand proud that they had participated in that effort. We now live in an era where private enterprise can lead an effort rather than just be tasked by a government agency. And that's a new opening of private enterprise. When uh, Prime Minister Modi visited um, the United States, I met with him and we chatted about the future of uh, the Indian space program. And he, 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 he wanted to see what I thought about him opening the entire effort to private enterprise. And I said, yes. In fact, the United States should have done that decades ago. And so private enterprise will find ways to do things more streamlined, typically, than a government will. And, and it, as to use your word, to democratize it means everybody gets to think about what we might want to do in space. Will we be mining asteroids? Oh, by the way, whoever's mining an asteroid, make sure they know how to deflect one while they're up there. One day we might have to protect Earth. Very well said. And, and when Axiom 4 crew conduct 60 scientific experiments representing 31 countries, focusing on life sciences, earth observation, materials research. Clearly, this is not going to be restricted to one nation. It is uh, research and development uh, for a whole world, for a whole yeah, new so world. There a very important point you just made. In fact, there's the Artemis Accords, which India has signed. It's a, it's a doc, and many countries have signed. I forgot the latest number, but I think it's more than 100, uh, if not just approaching 100, that this document, if you read it, it's very beautiful. It's, we will go into space for peaceful purposes, and if someone is in trouble, you'll go help them. If you make a discovery, that will be shared with other countries. Maybe they'll need to know how to, uh, you make a discovery that's in the import that is in the interest of your of the survival of your mission, or just another discovery that's just interesting. That's all gets shared, so that there's a commute. The steps we take, though they're done by individuals and by a country at a given time, when they get shared, in a way, it's all of us who are reaching into space. Times now also spoke to Clayton Anderson, a former NASA astronaut astronaut who had spent 152 days aboard the International Space Station 18 years ago in 2007. Well, first of all, I think it's great that we're collaborating with uh, countries all around the world. I don't think that we, the United States, can continue to explore space by ourselves. We, we don't have the technology, the total technology we don't have the money it's going to be a collaborative effort around the world because i think it's important that we get other perspectives into the game 
And so the three astronauts that flew with Peggy Whitson today uh, give a different perspective. They're, they're very intelligent, they're very capable humans, but they probably see things from a different way given the culture that they were raised in versus the culture she was raised in. And I think that's a good thing. I think for us to be able to travel further into space and perhaps uh, go to Mars one day, it will be a collaborative effort worldwide, not just from the United States and a few partners. So I, that's, I'm very optimistic about that part. Several experts have also weighed in on what this mission means for India and its contribution to space research and the future of space exploration as far as ISRO is concerned. This picture of an Indian aboard the International Space Station, it's a part of Indian space history. Yeah, it's part of Indian space history and then it should, you know, you, the things should pace up for Gaganyaan now. We can't wait anymore now. We want Gaganyaan to happen as early as possible. Uh, we have been waiting for so long for Gaganyaan. We are waiting so for so long for such visuals from our own stuff. So it's like uh, now that thing has again reignited in, uh, I think, the whole of the country. And uh, there will be big dreams right now. Everyone will be, you know, on their toes that when that is going to happen with our Gaganyaan mission, when those tests are going to happen, when those flights are going to happen with G1 flight, G2, G3, then crewed missions, Bharti Antrix station. All these emotions are right now, you know, they're, they're, they're floating very high right now in the mind. So things are, uh, it's like, you know, we want to see such visuals more often now with Indians flying to the space and, you know, Gagan Yatris or astronauts or what, what all you call them, but amazing. Right now, I'm not able to completely put my emotions in words actually, but I am feeling elated. It's a moment that has been in the making for, you know, decades. You know, this is perhaps the sign of the biggest leap that the Indian space program, the ISRO space program is going to have. And perhaps the surest sign that India is going to be among that league of uh, space pairing nations who've actually put a man into space in perhaps just the next two years from now. Yes, uh, <clears throat> resonating your words. Uh, it's certainly going to happen. And fortunately, I was part of this project when it kick-started in year back 2018 under the direct guidance of our Honorable Prime Minister uh, Modiji. I think things are going well on track. And I think this is the one step in that direction that uh, Group Captain Sukla uh, was selected uh, to travel to ISS because probably this is also any first uh, of Indian to put uh, foot in ISS. Also earlier, uh, Wing Commander Rakesh Sarmaji has went to space, but that time he went under the name of Cosmonaut and uh, uh, he was abroad, uh, let me, uh, Russian Space Station. So International Space Station, I think this is the history made by Group Captain Sukla. And the kind of knowledge, experience, expertise you will gain there, definitely it will be uh, handy for us uh, when uh, this Gaganayan orbital vehicle design developments are happening now in full speed and um, definitely uh, is a historic moment and is a moment for all all of us to cherish cherish forever right uh Amitabh Ghosh, if i can come to you on this you know there are already about five crew members on board we can see from those pictures and we know that the iss is actually run by different space agencies it's not just nasa you have in fact roscosmos you have have ESA, you have various uh, J the JAXA, all of them are very much part of this entire mission and uh, you know it really of course is very interesting to see uh, that they will also be parallelly carrying out their experiments while the Axiom 4 crew members do so. How does this work uh, in fact on ground because you know all of them have different projects that each of them will be tasked with ensuring are completed during this fortnight. Right, so, so if you think of the day, there is personal chores, then there is um, maintenance of the space station. There may be some protocols that everybody does certain things at a certain time. And then, of course, each one goes and does their own experiments. So, so the scheduling is probably pretty well figured out. So it's between all these and there's, there is no conflict here. So you have to kind of figure out who will do what and um, and it's pretty smooth. And so there are, there are probably redundancies. There's probably, uh, if somebody is not feeling up to it, is not able to do something, then there is probably coverage. But it's it's pretty much like a staffing plan on Earth um, in a standard um, company or in a standard 
uh, institution. How interesting that the song foremost on Subhanshu Shukla's playlist during the launch was Yuhi Chala Chal Rahi from the movie Swades. The protagonist in that film, a NASA scientist himself, returns to India to serve his motherland. The choice was apt. अपना देश का लाल है जो अपने देश के लिए ही वो पूरी शुरू से मेहनत करते थे एयरफोर्स में थे तब भी उस देश के लिए ही वो सेवा कर रहे थे और जहां भी रहे उन्होंने हमेशा देश को ऊपर रखा और देश और वर्क दोनों उनके सबसे ऊपर रहते हैं वर्क में कभी भी जो है न फैमिली मतलब उसमें बीच में आती है न कहीं कोई मतलब अड़चन नहीं होती उनको किसी प्रकार सबसे पहले देश और फिर इसके बाद वर्क दो चीजें पीआरटी पर हमेशा रही हैं और हमेशा रहती हैं और यही कारण है उसके सक्सेस का कि मतलब वो जो है अपना वर्क जो है पूरी ईमानदारी लगन निष्ठा से करता है और उसका जो है वही पूरा दिन है मोमेंट ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन इन प्राइड फॉर इंडिया ISRO over the last 10 years alone has launched as many as 393 foreign satellites three indian customer satellites on a commercial basis on board ISRO's launch vehicles as well ISRO has helped launch satellites of as many as 34 countries and in 2017 had launched 104 satellites in one single mission a record at the time the world looks at ISRO with awe as do we and we look forward to more such inspiration in the days and years to come